Hey YouTube, Kira Tweak here, bringing you all an update to my Ojama Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile for March 2024. Keeping up with the Chaz themed decks that I've been doing lately, we just made the Chthonian deck, and I figured I'd update the Ojama deck as well, going for the pure variant as usual for the Ojama deck. I've also learned that we have a Duelist pack coming out for light attribute themed monsters, which the Ojama monsters are light you know, themed and could potentially fit the spot for one of the three decks we get from the Duelist pack. So if making this video is all it takes for us to get the incredible Ojama Lime or any of the other ones like Ojama Indigo from the Ojama Country Field Spell, I'm glad that this deck profile is all it took to get that support because it has been a while since we've gotten some new Ojama cards. But let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. Now some of my numbers for the Ojama cards are just missing and I'll show what cards that I would replace for what. But for the normal monsters, I want to run two of each of the original trio. So two copies of Ojama Yellow, two green, and two black. I have a green fitting in for the one spot for the Ojama Black here. But still, I believe for my last deck profile, I was running three copies of each. I'm just testing back and forth with the ratios for the Ojamas, and I'm pretty comfortable with just the search power we have now. And just being able to grab these cards with cards like Oja Magic to my hand with a two-off count for each of them. Now, one of the three ofs for the Ojama monsters that I am running is three copies of Ojama Red. When it's normal summon, you can special summon up to four Ojama monsters from your hand in attack position. That can just swarm your field with the many different Ojama monsters, depending on what you summon out. And then have wide variety of access to the many different monsters in your extra deck, having the five monsters on the field ready to use. I also run two copies of Ojama Pink. If this card is sent from the hand or field to the graveyard, you can activate this effect. Each player draws one card. Then each player discards one card. Then if you discard an Eldrama card, you can choose one of your opponent's unused monster zones and cannot be used until the end of your opponent's turn. You can use this effect of pink once per turn, but pink can also send cards like magic to then get the additional search for your other Ojamas to your hand, or just more set up for some of the unneeded normal monsters in your hand, being the Ojamas, to then summon back onto the field from the graveyard. With the last of our Ojamas being two copies of Ojama Blue, this could potentially be another three of. There's a couple cards you could take out for a third copy of blue, but it has to be destroyed by battle, so that's why it's not as a big reliance. It is still a great search power, but most of the time I just find myself crashing into my opponent's monsters with my own, so I get the search to then use during the main phase too. And then cards like Ojama Blue can be searched out and reused by other cards like Ojama Country in the field spell zone after it's been destroyed to summon back onto the field from the graveyard. That is it for the monsters. As I said, we're going for a pure Ojama build, so we're just sticking to the Ojama monsters for this deck. For the spells, three copies of Oja Magic. When it's sent from the hand or field to the graveyard, add one of each Ojama green, yellow, and black from your deck to your hand. So you have to add all three copies, but still running less numbers means better chance to at least keep them in the deck for us to then add back for the search off of Oja Magic, and then also being able to make use of those cards if we have all three in our hand, summoning out Ojama Red, and then summoning all three the other Ojama monsters onto the field to then use for a Link 4 play. It's fun when you can get all three out because then you have Ojama Red and then you meet the requirements just for a really, really big Apollosa for you to summon out onto the field needing two or more monsters with different names except for tokens. For the one ofs for our Ojama spells, I run one copy of Ojama Country and the one Oja Muscle. Now, the only reason I have dropped the copy of Ojama Country down to one is, once again, it's searchable. Multiple field spells really don't do much for us in the deck. So once we open up that one copy, I can rely on Barricade Board Blocker from the extra deck as a number seven to get out. If I need to recycle the card or if it gets destroyed back onto the field, it switches the attack of our Ojama monsters. But you also have the option of once per turn being able to send an Ojama card from your hand to the grave to special summon one Ojama monster from your graveyard. This is the recycle for Ojama Blue I mentioned on the field and ways to send Oja Magic to just get us more of the Ojama searches. And then Oja Muscle, it's in here for the Ojama King play, which can be done, destroying all monsters on the field that include Ojama in their name, except for Ojama King, and increasing the attack of the selected king by 1,000 points for each one. So an added boost on top of the swap of Ojama Country to then stack on top of it. But this could also potentially just be Ojama Delta Hurricane. I just had the Oja Muscle spot placed in instead for that one card as an option to show that you could run the card in the deck, but Ojama Delta Hurricane could be another spot to place in. I also run for more of the generic 
lineup for the spells. Two copies of Painful Decision. You send one level four lower normal monster from your deck to the graveyard and add one card with the same name as that card from your deck to your hand. So search power for our normal monsters as well. If we want more graveyard setup for more targets for Ojama Country also. And for more special summon power, three copies of Unexpected Die, just being able to grab one of the needed Ojama monsters and then summon it onto the field for us to use as well with this spell. And for more of the search power as well, two copies of Pot of Prosperity, just for some of the more generic monsters we run the extra to be able to banish and then hopefully grab into some of the more needed ojama cards using this spell with the last of our search and setup in the form of our spell lineup running two copies of foolish burial goods now this one especially for the use of sending ojama duo because except the turn it was sent to the graveyard you can banish this card from your graveyard to special summon two ojama monsters with different names from your deck this is one of my other favorite ways to grab Ojama Blue and summon it onto the field along with cards like Ojama Pink to then have the draw and discard and then the search power of Ojama Blue as well for this spell search. Two copies of Ayers Rock Sunrise, targeting a beast monster in our graveyard, special summoning it in that target, and then all face up monster you're probably currently control lose 200 attack for each beast monster currently in your graveyard. So just another way to grab back Ojamas from the graveyard and then also lower our opponent's attack points of their monsters to boot. And also two copies of Polymerization for our fusion plays we could do quite well in the deck also. Ojama King and Ojama Knight. And then lastly for the one ofs, one fusion recycling plant, more search power for Polymerization, and also being able to recycle back our monsters we use for the fusion, terraforming to either search out Ojama Country or fusion recycling plant, and the one copy of Call by the Grave. For the traps, two copies of Ojama Duo. It special summons out the Ojama tokens, but honestly, the only play you're going to use this for is the send off of the Foolish Barrel Goods. You want to set this card up in your graveyard, so then you can go for the Banish play just to summon out your Ojama monsters all the faster. And also the three copies of Super Team Buddy Force Unite. Target a face-up monster on the field. Special summon one monster from your hand or graveyard with the same original type as that monster, but with the original name. And if this card in the owner's spell and trap card zone is destroyed by an opponent's effect, you can set one Super Buddy Force Unite directly from your deck to your spell and trap card zone. So more recycle ways as well, targeting the monster we control, and then being able to grab back monsters that, let's say, were destroyed or set up thanks to a drama duo to summon back on the field just to keep that wall going if our opponent destroys super team buddy force we can activate it in response getting that summon and then once it's destroyed having the search for another one to then make use of the following turn with the last card in the main deck being rivalry of warlords beast monsters are a good majority of what we summon out in the deck including with our link monsters like with ojama emperor so if it also just being a one of on the ban list we're just running the one copy to finish off the main deck and then for the extra deck, I have the Ojama King in here. I have no clue where my Ojama Knights are. If they're in a specific deck that I'm running Instant Fusion for, but I would want to run two copies of Ojama Knight as well, just because they need two Ojama monsters, so a little more generic than Ojama King, to summon out for a fusion monster. And along with Ojama King and the Ojama Knights, which I would have right here, along with Ojama King, it can just block out your opponent's monster zones, making it very difficult for them to play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! when you summon out these fusion monsters. And I will show what to take out for two copies of Ojama Knight once we get to the other Link monsters. But I do also want to run two copies of Ojama Emperor, needing three Beast monsters, including an Ojama. This could be another go-to summon when you use your Ojama Red. And then summon out your three Ojama monsters from your hand as well, using the three brothers to then go into Ojama Emperor, keeping your additional Ojama Red on the field. Because then with Ojama Emperor, while countries on the field, it gains 3,000 attack. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. Your opponent takes any battle damage. You will have taken from attacks on this card. Instead, you can target one non-link Ojama monster to your graveyard, special summon it, and then you cannot special summon from the extra deck except for fusion monsters, but that gives you one Ojama monster to summon back onto the field to then fuse with polymerization with the remaining Ojama red on the field also. And also the one copy of Firefighting Darumadol, the one Lena the Light Charmer, one IP Mascarina, Barricade Board Blocker, and Nightmare Cerberus for some of the Link 2s, along with SP Little Knight, and also Apollosa. If you, you know, don't have SP Little Knight, this could be one of the spots that you replace for the Ojama Knights. Same with Firefighting Darumadol and Lena the Light Charmer, all options to take out for Ojama Knights, or even an additional copy of Ojama King, with our Xyz Monsters being the one copy of Gigantic Sprite, Herald of the Pure Light, 
number 64, Onimaru Soul Sweeper, and the one Divine Arsenal Zeus, because rank twos are another strong powerhouse to go into, especially cards like Gigantic Sprite, just being able to summon out a level two monster from the deck after detaching one. And then as for some of the go-to plays in the deck, I mentioned a good amount of the combos already, but one of my favorites still is just the setup you could do with Foolish Burial Goods, setting up your Ojama Duo in the graveyard, because then the following turn, your opponent will attempt to attack into you. You can then banish the Ojama Duo if they haven't banished it already with cards like Didi Crow. Then you can summon out your Ojama Blue, and additionally an Ojama Pink. Then they have to swing into either of these monsters if they hope to clear your board. Otherwise, they'll leave them on the field, which you can then just attack your opponent yourself. The following turn, if they think leaving these monsters alive on the field will be a better play to to go into or keeping your two monsters on the field you can then just summon out an additional ojama monster and then use those three monsters to then go into ojama emperor on the field as well but that is it for the deck profile i hope you all enjoyed like i said just wanted to update the ojama monsters for the latest version of the deck i know i was missing a couple cards but if you just listen to what i mentioned to take out for these spots for the ojama monsters then you should have no problem making the deck and hopefully we do see some new support later down the road for the ojamas in total they definitely do need it and as always until next time please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and kira twig out